Hey guys, Kitty here. Um, I thought it's been a little while since I did a tag video um, and I've got a few new subscribers and things so I thought I would do uh, the get to know me tag um, to give you random info that you might desire to know about me. Uh, so name is Kitty Wood. Uh, my nickname, kitten, anything that Stu feels like calling me on any particular day of the week. Don't really have much in the way of nicknames I don't think. Uh, my birthday is the 12th of February, I was born in 1988 so I'm 28 now. Uh, my place of birth was Grimsby uh, which is where I live now. My star sign is Aquarius. Um, my occupation, um, my normal job um, is I'm an administrations manager um, for a small company um, and then obviously also blogger, YouTuber, photographer bit of everything. <laughs> also hairdresser, uh, I'm a qualified hairdresser, I just don't do too much of it but I have some regular clients whose hair I do. Um, my hair colour slash length, so this is my natural hair colour, uh, I've been growing it out over the last two years, uh, so it's kind of a dirty blonde, light brown, I never know what to describe it as, um, and it's, well if I stretch it out, it's like quite a bit longer but because it's curly it's a, a way that it kind of springs up quite a bit so it's kind of coming up to bra length I guess. Uh, my eye colour is green despite the fact that there's a troll on Instagram who is forever telling me that my eyes are not green. Yes they are. Um, my best feature, uh, my smile, I don't know that's a bit cheesy in it but I do like my smile. Uh, did I have braces? Yes I had braces. I had a uh, a lot too many teeth. I was like a crocodile because I had so many teeth too many. Um, so I'm super glad that I had braces because I don't like I like yeah my teeth were awful like these ones were like completely behind my front ones nearly because I had like that many teeth that needed to be dealt with so that's terrible. Um, next one uh, what piercings and tattoos do I have? So currently I've got one side of my nose pierced, a bunch in each ear um, my tongue. I used to have that done twice but currently I've only got it done once. I need to get it redone again. I got this one. I smiley. Um, I've also had more in my earrings. I had the other side of my nose pierced. Uh, I've had my belly button pierced a few times. My nipples pierced. Um, that's about it I think. Um, that's all I'm having currently. Tattoos. Um, I'm working on a lower leg sleeve um, with Keely Rutherford of Jolly Rouge in London. Uh, I've got one more session to go, I've about sort of five or six hours on that and that will be all done. Um, but that's all I've got at the minute. I kind of wanted to wait until I knew for sure what I wanted, uh, rather than regret it and want things changing and covered up and stuff like so many people I know are. So I don't want to start big, so why not start the sleeve? <laughs> uh, am I right or left-handed? I am left-handed for writing, um, but I can write also with my right hand. Um, but then I kind of switch with everything else, like I cut hair right handed um, but then do a lot of other stuff left handed and I kind of chop and change, I'm, I'm a bit extra really. Um, am I taken yet? Yeah, um, I am engaged, um, my lovely fiance is called Stu and um, we are getting married on the 4th of June this year which is pretty exciting. Uh, next one, kind of jumping all over the place because I wrote them all out really scrawly on a bit of paper <laughs> so that I could answer them. Uh, in the future, would I like kids? Nope. Never wanted kids. Do I want to get married? Yeah, that's why I'm getting married. What job would I like to do? I'd like to see where the blogging and stuff takes me, but I'm pretty happy with how things are. I don't really know um, what I'd like to do. Like, I always wanted to be like a full-time fashion photographer, but no, I'd have to like leave where I am and stuff, and I don't know if I'd want to live in London, because I just don't think I'd want to live down there. Um, and where would I like to live? I like where I do I live now. I live in like a, a nice place and I love my little house and stuff so I'm pretty happy with where I am. Obviously if I won a lottery I'd probably buy in the same place that I live and just buy something a bit bigger but I'm pretty happy with where I live right now. Um, some first. So my first best friend uh, was a girl called Steph who I'm still really good friends with to this day. Uh, first award was probably something to do with dancing because I danced when I was uh well through till being like a 
late teenager. So it'll have been some sort of ballet award or something probably. First sport I ever did, that'll have been dancing. Like I said, I started that when I was like three and I stopped when I went to university because it didn't fit in practically with my schedule anymore. Uh, my first real holiday, um, well, when I was uh, like a toddler and a baby, um, I lived in Saudi Arabia and my first holiday, uh, I don't remember it, but I've seen pictures, was I went to Egypt and saw like the pyramids at Luxor and um, did Sharm El Sheikh and everything like that, but I don't remember it because I was too little, but that was my first holiday. Uh, my first concert, I went to see Steps, don't tell anyone. My first cool gig that I went to was when I was like 14 or 15, I went to see Rancid, which was pretty awesome. That was like the first like gig I went to, I think. <laughs> but yeah, I went to see Steps, which is so shameful. Um, some favourites, uh, my favourite film, True Romance, that's super easy. In fact, somewhere, yeah, I have my True Romance pin. Um, my favourite TV show, that's really hard, there's loads that I love. Um, Game of Thrones, Sons of Anarchy, uh, there's a TV show called Oz, it's a little bit older, and um, it was a HBO TV show that I think kind of laid all the foundations for what TV shows are allowed to do now, because it was super controversial and stuff when it first came out. Um, so probably those. Favourite colour, um, purple, red and black. I know that black is the absence of colour, but yeah, it's still one of my favourites. Um, my favourite song. That's an impossible question because what music I'm enjoying it depends entirely on my mood. So that's that's impossible and I can't answer it. Uh, favourite restaurant? There's a little like all you can eat Chinese in Grimsby um, called China Delight I think it's called. But it's like cooked to order all you can eat and it's amazing. Like they do the best seaweed ever. Uh, favourite shop? ASOS, New Look, Simply Be, Yours, Pink Clove, probably those. Um, my favourite book, that's really hard as well. Um, I used to really love Stephen King's books but like I've started rereading some lately and I'm finding them so problematic because of the way in which he writes people of colour and I just... <laughs> I'm kind of ruining all my favourite books for myself because I'm so much more aware now that all my favourites are just, I can't, they're not my favourites anymore. So, don't know on that one. Favourite magazine, uh, I only buy one, Rock and Roll Bride magazine. That's the only one I buy. I used to buy Love magazine, but yeah, Rock and Roll Bride's the only one that I get now. Uh, and my favourite shoes, Converse's or Demonia calf length, non-leather boots because they're amazing. Um, Vegan.martins are also super comfy and um, yours do loads of uh, non-leather boots um, in a size 10 because I have size 10 feet um, that are awesome um, and also creepers. I love myself. I love a good pair of creepers. Um, and then the last bit is uh, stuff that you believe in. Um, please don't take personal offence to what I believe or don't believe in. Obviously it's nothing against anybody who does believe in things that I don't believe in, it's just these are literally just my personal beliefs. Uh, so do I believe in God? Nope. Heaven and hell, miracles, ghosts, none of those things. Um, love at first sight. I don't believe in love at first sight because you can't love someone that you don't know but I do believe that you can kind of fall in like major major lust at first sight with someone. Um, kissing on the first date, well, do whatever you want, so long as you're all adults and you're consenting, do what you like. Um, do I believe in aliens? Yes. I think it would be, like, really arrogant of the human race to assume that our planet was the only one that had any kind of life on it, when there's so many places out there that, like, we just can't even begin to process this amazing universe that we live in. Um, so yes, I do believe in aliens. Um, I don't think they'll like us very much probably because the human race is pretty awful. Um, but yeah, I do believe in aliens. Uh, do I believe in soulmates? Probably quite controversial given that I'm getting married in a couple of months, uh, but no. I don't because 
there's like six and a half billion people on this planet the chances that you happen to meet the person that's like perfect for you and they also happen to live in your hometown or whatever is just a ridiculous notion um there's just too many people basically <laughs> everyone's lives are so different and things so you're kind of the things that make you perfect for each other are things like you having similar beliefs and ideals and ideologies and things it's you know like me and Stu are really well suited because we're both very liberal and quite political um and have very similar ideologies and things like that um but then there's nothing to say that there's not somebody that's basically identical to Stu who happens to live the other side of the world you know you don't need you can't possibly know if you've got a soulmate because you're never going to meet everyone on that's on this planet so you can't know that one um you can just know who you love and sorry I've run out of room there on my phone hopefully the last time it happens because i have got a new tripod on the way for my new camera so i'm just going to sign off quickly uh hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up i will put some uh, a blank version of those questions in the description bar down below uh, if you're new hello please subscribe uh that would make me happy and i will uh, yeah see you again soon bye